Welcome to Mark Power. In this video, we're going to talk about how the version of Pokemon that you pick tells us something about you economically. Today is the day. Pokemon Sword and Shield have come out today. I'm just about to go down and grab my copy. I love Pokemon. My family loves Pokemon. Don't tell anyone, but I secretly have a stash of Pokemon cards in my desk here at work. I am really excited for this game, and I'm especially excited because it's a great introduction to economics. And that's why I want to take you to the store to pick it up, because I want to explain the economic lesson that's been with Pokemon ever since the beginning. So I am on my way to Walmart to go pick up my game. When I went there the other day to ask them if I could reserve a copy, both employees that I asked looked at me as if I was speaking another language because I said reserved a copy. They asked, like, I, I guess we don't reserve anymore. I should have said pre-order. Anyway, it was a weird experience. I pre-ordered it. When I pre-ordered it, it said it was coming on Sunday, but I was tracking the shipment and it says it's already in the store right now on Friday. But they haven't sent me the email to go pick it up. But since it's, I know that it's in the store, I'm hoping that they're still just gonna let me get it. That's my big hope. <laughs> So this game release is following the tradition of every other major Pokemon title, and that is they're releasing two versions of the game. We have Pokemon Sword and we have Pokemon Shield. One question is, why do they always release two titles of the game? You had Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue. You have Pokemon uh, X and Y, Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon Gold and Silver. I know I'm not listing them in the right order, but we had all these different versions of the game uh, and they always release two at a time. Why are they doing that? Actually talking to this camera while driving is reminding me of the video I did about how Pokemon Go caused a ton of car accidents. So I'm gonna put that card up here and I'm just gonna drive to the store. I said at the beginning of this video that the version you choose tells us something about you economically. And so what is it that this is telling us about? Now I mentioned that Pokemon has always come out with multiple versions of their games. And the reason why they come out with these versions, well not the reason, but what they do with these different versions is they don't put the complete game on any other of the versions. They're all incomplete. For you to collect every Pokemon, for you to catch them all, you have to get both versions of the game. And this is how Nintendo finds something out about you. They're trying to use price discrimination. We all have different willingness to pay. We're, we're all different levels of fans. We want to have this game, but some of us really want to have it. And some of us aren't hardcore gamers, and so we're just happy with the game that we get. And so the way that they're able to find out who's the hardcore gamer is by selling multiple versions of the game. And so the way that you, the version of the game tells something about who you are is by whether you buy just one version or you buy two. And I only bought one version. I bought Pokemon Shield. Now, I was totally indifferent between the games. I didn't know which one I was gonna get, but I decided to get Shield because it had the Galarian Ponita, and I think my daughter would appreciate that. But other than that, I'm totally fine if I can't catch all of the Pokemon that are in this game, and I'm not the target audience for this. What they're looking for are the people who are willing to buy both games, and they're trying to make a ton of money doing it. If you're interested in more about price discrimination and how it's used to make lots of money, go ahead and check out this video about the Nintendo Switch Lite. If you want to see my latest video, click here, and also make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching Market Power today, and we will see you next time.